Dear students, welcome to you in my YouTube channel, Learn Math with Arshad. In this video, I am going to solve MCQs from first chapter of 10th class real numbers. So question number 1 is on the screen. The decimal expansion of 63 by 72 into 175. So whenever you want to know the decimal expansion or you want to know the given fraction will be terminating decimal or non-terminating decimal, first step you have to simplify given fraction. So fraction is 63 by 72 into 175. See 63 and 72, ye dono number 9 se divisible hai. So 9 7 the 63 and 9 8 the 72. 175 you have to check it. In working column if you don't know the table then check it like this. So 175 is divisible by 7 or not. So 7 to the 14 and here 3 and 7 5 the 35. Yes it is divisible. And if you know table that's better. So 25. Now but you 1 by 8 into 25. Now you have to express denominator in exponential form with the help of prime factorization. So see it is t 2 cube and it is 5 square. So there is a rule and that rule is if denominator contains only power of 2 powers of 2 that is 2 power m only powers of 5 that is 5 power n are both that is 2 power m into 5 power n so in these three conditions it will be terminating decimal so see here it represents the third case that's why terminating decimal 2 power 3 it is into 5 power 2 it is same as 2 power m into 5 power n m equal to 3 and n equal to 2 therefore terminating decimal terminating decimal so first one is the answer now we will move to the second question this is the second question on the screen. <laughs> if HCF and LCM of two numbers are 4 and 9696, nine, then their product is, there are four options. But so we know the relation between HCF and LCM of numbers, that is if let two numbers be A and B, so A into B equals HCF into LCM. So HCF is 4 and LCM is 9696. Nine, if you multiply it, it will be 38784. So this is the answer. So in this question, actually this is the main concept. You have to practice many questions to learn these concepts. Means concept based mathematics you have to do, not solution based. So here this is concept and there are four uh, unknown quantities A, B, HCF, LCM so four types of questions they can frame three of them will be given you have to find the fourth one now next question that is question number three question number three is the HCF of two numbers is one then the numbers A HCF of any two number is, is, is 1, the number will be co-prime numbers. Here I will discuss about the remaining numbers also. So what is perfect number, Bacho? 
about this if the sum of all factors if the sum of all factors is twice the number then number is called perfect number first perfect number is 6 the reason the factors of 6 are 1 2 3 and 6 if you add it 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 this is equal to 12 sum of all factors equal to 12 so 6 is the perfect number composite number you know it more than two factors co prime numbers bachcho two numbers are said to be co prime if they don't have common divisor other than one common factor other than one so 4 and 5 because factors of 4 are 1 2 4 and factor of factors of 5 are 1 and 5 so dono mein aap dekho koi sirf one hi common hai okay so other than one if there is no common factor then numbers are known as co prime number kuch bachcho ko doubt hota hai ki co prime number prime number hota hai nahi dekho four prime number nahi hai lekin four aur five mein common factor nahi hai other than one that's why they are co prime these rational numbers are already you know now the next one you have to find the hcf of 52 and 130 now we have only one method that is fundamental theorem of arithmetic there you have to factorize so bachcho 52 you know the table 4 13 the 52 to 4 means 2 square into 13 and 130 that is uh, 2 into 13 into 5 hcf means hcf is what hcf is common factors product of common factors with least exponent matlab chhota power to common bhi hona aur chhota power lena least exponent to see dekho 13 common hai aur dono pe one power hai to 13 liya jayega dekho 2 bhi common hai lekin least exponent is 2 power 1 to ye liya jayega to answer will be 26 this debit now next question that is question number 5 hcf of smallest perfect number so already we discussed the smallest perfect number is 6 and the smallest composite number is 4 So, but just six equal to two into three, and four equal to two in square. So this is common, and least exponent is one. So HCF will be two. Now question number six. Question number six here. There are four fractions, and we have to identify non-terminating decimal. Non-terminating means denominator should not be in the form of two power n. Into five power n. इसके मतलब ये हुआ कि denominator में के prime factorisation में two और five तो आ सकता है, लेकिन कोई और भी prime number आएगा। तो एक-एक करके देखते हैं। जैसे ये है thirty three by one fifty। सबसे पहले simplify करो। तो three one का three one का three five का fifteen। इसका prime factorisation करोगे, तो five square two into five square, because twenty five Two is a fifty, so it is a terminating decimal. Now sixty-six by one twenty divided by six-six one is a one is a six two is a. It is twenty, so it can be written as two square into five. It is also a terminating decimal. And the third one is five by fifteen. But so one by three. See here, denominator contains other than two and five, so it is non-terminating. non terminating that is the answer it means answer is c now question number 
एच सी एफ ऑफ टू नंबर इज ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड एल सी एम इज वन फोर फोर नाइन सो वी नो इफ द नंबर आर ए एंड बी सो ए इंटू बी इक्वल एच सी एफ इंटू एल सी एम सो वन नंबर इज वन सिक्सटी वन सेकेंड नंबर वी डोंट नो एच सी एफ इज ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड एल सी एम इज वन फोर फोर नाइन सो बी इक्वल ट्वेंटी थ्री बाई इंटू वन फोर फोर नाइन डिवाइडेड बाई वन सिक्सटी वन ट्वेंटी थ्री वन जा ट्वेंटी थ्री सेवन जा एंड दिस नंबर इज डिविज बाई सेवन सेवन टू जा फोर्टीन सेवन जीरो जा जीरो सेवन सेवन जा फोर्टी नाइन सो दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर एट द एल्सियम ऑफ टू को प्राइम नंबर इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू देयर प्रोडक्ट इफ द नंबर आर को प्राइम मीन्स नो कॉमन फैक्टर अदर दैन वन सो देयर प्रोडक्ट विल बी एल्सियम नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इट इज सी क्वेश्चन इज ट्वेंटी वन बाई टू क्यू इंटू थ्री इंटू फाइव स्क्वायर we have to know that it will terminate up to how many places of decimal so first step is simplify 3 1 the 3 3 7 the after simplification factorize denominator but it is already given in that form factorization form then see it contains other than 2 and 5 no it means it is a terminating decimal so see the highest power highest power is 3 so it will terminate Three places of decimal. Highest power is three, so will terminate three places of decimal. So that highest power may be on five, may be on three, but you have to take highest power. Now next question. But so this question, the decimal expansion of this. it is which type it is a terminating or same question so here again you have to simplify first it is divisible by 3 3 3 the 3 1 the 3 5 the now we have to factorize denominator 2 2250 to 125 then 5 5 2 the 5 5 the then 5 5 the Then again five one the, so it is equal to thirty one by two square into five cube. Denominator contains only two and five, will be terminating decimal. So this is the answer of this question. Now question number eleven. But so question number eleven. LCM is given and these are the four numbers which we have to know that which of the following can not be HCF. So this is this thing you should know. HCF is exact divisor of LCM. If you know it, this concept, then within minute you can answer. See. 1200 exact divisor means LCM is divisible by HCF. So 600, 1200 is divisible by 600. So 600 never be. It may be HCF. 1200 is not divisible by 5. Exactly, it is not divisible by 5. So 500 will be the correct answer here. Now question number 12, बच्चों. The product of non-zero rational number and irrational number is always irrational. Always irrational. And why you just copy this rule? Rational plus minus irrational is always equal to irrational. Rational into irrational or irrational into rational equal to irrational. Condition is. R should not be equal to zero. So here it is written non-zero means except zero. Similarly, rational divided by irrational or irrational divided by rational. This is also equal to irrational, but 
rational number should not be equal to zero. So if you know these uh, one, two, three, four rules, one addition, one subtraction, two, multiplication and division, so you can answer it easily. Okay, so we completed this MCQ.